since we saw that image of the new Shazam 2 suits, we couldn't stop but think about what the colors meant, why all of the suits were differently colored, and how they made them. So that's why we decided to answer all of those questions through a video. So here is Shazam 2, different suit colors, secret meaning. Let's dive right into it, shall we? The image that broke the internet. It was June 21st, just a normal day, until we logged onto Twitter. We saw that David F. Sandberg had shared a photo with the caption. Don't know how long we can keep the new suits from leaking, so here's a pic I took the other day. And boom, the internet caught fire. I mean, people completely lost it. Some loved the new suits, others hated the new design, and there were those who said the actors weren't right for the role. Unrelated, but well, okay. So. What did we see in this photo? Well, we saw a couple of things. First of all, we saw that the same team is back at it again, but this time, the suits lost that, may we say, hideous bright neon hue, and they became a little more tamed, a little more professional, and a lot cooler. Like the first time we saw the photo, we were looking for that excessively green suit from superhero Pedro, but this time we didn't find it. Why? because the bright green had finally been replaced with this cool dark green suit that DJ Cotrona looked absolutely killer in. And when you compare the team of 2021 versus the one from 2019, we hear the lyrics from started from the bottom, now we're here. Seriously, the difference is that great. Also, there was something else fans noticed about the new show. Namely, it was the fact that Mary's character didn't change from the child to the superhero version. And to that, Sandberg just tweeted, Yes, Grace Fulton now plays both parts, but her hair and makeup are slightly different when she's super, so nobody will ever recognize her. Hey, it works for Wonder Woman! They all looked amazing in the suits, but we still did not know the meaning of the suits. Before we talk about the meaning of the different colored suits, don't forget to smash that like button. It keeps the almighty YouTube algorithm happy, and you keep getting these videos for free. For that, we had to look at some wiki facts. Here's what we found out. Shazam's suit was initially worn by the wizard who gave Billy Batson his superhero powers. We could clearly see the wizard was wearing the red suit with a yellow lightning bolt on his chest and an orange cape. The only difference between him and Billy Batson is that Billy is wearing a white cape. Another hero that we have to mention is Black Adam. He wears a black suit with a yellow lightning bolt, a black cape, and a hood with gold trim. Oh and he was the first person to ever become chosen by the gods to wear the red suit. That's right, Black Adam is actually the first Shazam. He was chosen by the gods and received the wisdom of Solomon, the strength of Hercules, the stamina of Atlas, the power of Zeus, the courage of Achilles, and the speed of Mercury. And this is where the origin of the other superheroes on Billy's team come from. For example, Eugene's gray suit comes empowered by the wisdom of Solomon. Billy's red suit comes with the courage of Achilles. Freddy's power of Zeus is manifested through the blue suit, which immediately reminds us of the iconic white and blue colors of ancient Greece. Mary's stamina that comes from Atlas and her costume is red, just like the one Billy wears, but instead of tights, she wears a skirt. Darla and the purple suit showcase Mercury's speed, and Pedro's green suit is a result of Hercules' strength. So you see, each of these young superheroes has one god or deity that stands behind their suit and gives them power. However, we're not interested in finding out how they designed the suits and what they did differently this time. So now, let's look at the making of the suits. If we take a closer look at the suits in the first Shazam movie and we compare them to the second one, then we will realize that there are some very visible differences in the two costumes. For example, in the first movie, we got to see these basic suits. They were designed especially for the show, and the director worked closely with the costume designer, so he made sure that all of the suits had some sort of Greek print that resembled ancient Greek motives. After all, that's where the mythology of Shazam comes from. All of the gods are part of Greek mythology. That's why, if you look closely at the designs, you'll notice that the suit is not smooth. The suit has Greek key patterns running all throughout it, and the colors were no accident either. The ancient Greeks used blood red even in ancient Rome, so making the suit red was a no-brainer. 
The gold elements, like the buttons that keep Shazam's cape in place, are made out of gold, a color associated with ancient rich families. It's the color of power, of influence and control, and the director wanted it all for Shazam. And as for the cape, we have to say that even though they kept the Greek key on the edges, they wanted to bring it closer to the original comic books from the 1940s, so they made a short cape. To modernize it, they added a cap, just like Shazam from the DC Comics. The lightning bolt was intended to be this light yellow that would illuminate Levi's face as well as make a statement on screen. And finally, we have to talk about the boots. They wondered if they should go with the golden sandals, which would closely resemble the footwear of the ancient Greeks, or should they go with fully golden boots? They opted for the latter and forgot about the former. Now take all of what we just said and look at the photo that David F. Sandberg shared on his Twitter account. Right off the bat, you notice the color of the suits. They look more professional. Why? Well, first of all, it's because they fit the character better. I mean, can we take a moment and mourn the style decision that made Mary's t-shirt sleeves wide? It wasn't sexy, it wasn't cool, and it looked like an amateur made it. Now, compare that to the suits they have now. Everything fits them perfectly. The color is much darker, and instead of that hideous bright green that we talked about earlier, all of the colors are darker, and therefore more pronounced. Instead of the Greek key pattern, they have this scaly look. Honestly speaking, we love these new suits. Oh, and they ditched all of those short capes, and now we have these long capes on all the superheroes. The hoods have been taken off, and we only have the cape dragging behind each of them. This just cleaned up the entire look, and they still kept some of that gold detailing on the bottom edge of the cape. Speaking of the gold detailing, we're so glad that they kept the golden belt and gloves only for Shazam and Mary. The rest of the heroes are rocking silver and golden belts, which go much better with their overall look. The next thing that's seen a major improvement has to be the golden lightning bolt on Shazam's chest. In fact, all of the heroes have a golden lightning bolt, and thank God for that. I mean, the first design just looked childish. It was bright yellow, resembling something to go on a taxi sign on the roof of a taxi car. This lightning bolt looks powerful, just like the heroes themselves. And finally, the boots. Oh, the boots look nothing like the first ones. We don't know if you would agree, but these boots look heavy. And just like the belts and the gloves, they kept the gold only for Mary and Shazam. Everyone else got silver boots. We have to admit, these look like they could deal some serious damage. On a related note, do you think the new suits look better or worse than the original? You can tell us in the comments section below. If you'd like more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.